Now this is where we have you meet the Guyanese dancehall artist known as Negus. We no big friend. How are them feel like? Bless you, Reggie. Welcome. Blessings, my father. Good to meet you, Reggie. Yes, man. You know, okay, it's so, a pleasure, you know. So, okay, you're Guyanese, but were you born there in, in Guyana? Yes, man. All boys town, middle road, I'm a home, you know. Mm -hmm. Georgetown, where the girl they run around, but we don't <laughs> run around. <laughs> you sound authentically Jamaica. Yeah, because remember I tell you now, I grew up in Trinidad, right? Yeah. I went to school and thing in Trinidad. And I grew up, where I grew up, a lot of Jamaicans, like, our people used to come in, fly in, mm -hmm. and so I spent a lot of time around Yardy and the music and the culture and it's something where I grew to love as a youth, you know? Yes. Yes, man, and then Canada is the same thing. They all forward at my place, <laughs> you know? 2019, I had my birthday, I brought 15 artists, Pink yes. Bar, Sika Rhymes, them, the whole hundred day, 2019 to Canada. Yes, yeah, so talk about that, the, the connection with Jamaican dance hall, the Jamaican dance hall space, artists, music, fans. Yes, man, well, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm representing for dance hall music and it's, it's, it's Jamaican culture, you know, mm -hmm. and the artists, them, where rate me, them just rate me, they love me, you know, yeah. and I, when them come to Canada, I show them enough love and respect. Uh, me and Gage over Guyana, same thing, enough love and respect. Uh, Tamili, you know, same way, no different. So, okay, so the initial break into to the space, into the, the music, how did that happen? Who well, did you meet first and what did you do to get the love and the support and the, the respect from the Jamaican dance hallers that you've collaborated with? Well, the first time I tapped into dance hall is, was a, a song with conscience. Yeah. You see that one in there? You'll find it again. Baby, please, I beg you. Mm -hmm. Right? And then um, Black Spider did that production for me. Mm -hmm. And then after that, yeah, I even produced a song for Tommy Lee. We say, I'm holding on. Them not rate me. Say them hate me. Say me fall off. Free up Tommy Lee, my general, you know. <laughs> them I hold up whole heap of work for me, you know, because I have, I have a couple more music we have with Tommy Lee where I want to drop. I have a song, I say, them for no, them no bad road, yeah. Run them love, we run mouth while we run road. Me have a, look like a skeleton, if it fit come a road. You understand me, so? But me want to shoot the video, yeah. uh, you know? I have an animated video done for it, but I actually want to shoot a full video for the song, because it's too mm -hmm. bad. Yes. But, but uh, clarify for me, I just want to see how you got here. You know, you're, you're walking dance hall. Yeah. to where you are now. And I, I, I'm trying to get a little bit more clarity. You, so you met, you would meet, you have a passion for the music. You yes. would meet them when they, when they travel to, to Guyana yeah. and to Canada and so on. Yeah. But were you an, art, an aspiring artist at that point or a producer? What was your, your aspiration initially? Well, just Producing music, or, or artists? Just music in general, you know. I do everything because sometimes I find it hard to get work done with the producers and them, sometimes it's, you know, them tearing the tearing business and, yes. you know, you know the thing go. And I mean, I try to like study them and make them try to pull me down and keep me back. I give a lot of them enough opportunity. I help enough get a youth, I fly enough get a youth, yes. fly out and do things. And, and I realize, uh, like, you know, forget my things done more time, I have to do it myself. And I always hear that okay. when you want something done right, you do it yourself. So most of the music, them, I me mix them. You know? mm -hmm. And then I send it and get it mastered. Like, Andrew Blacks just mastered a song with me and Chronic Law. We say, if I money make you show love, me rather go back on my board house. Look <laughs> for my fence, them we zinc out. Yeah. Hungry days, I me know about. You know? Because that, that's where I come from, Winford, you know? And as a youth, I have my hands in everything. I even do tattoos. I have one of the top tattoo shops in yeah. Canada, where I do my work, you know? My fiance, she does the work as well, and I, I, I give her the, the teachings, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I also taught about 34 other artists in Canada how to do tattoos and anything there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're a multifaceted artist. I just do it, you know, it's life, you know. And with life comes a lot of things, and I just want to just live and do a lot of things. Ah, okay. So this thing, Link, 
for you to be booked on stage. How did that happen? Well, I guess I proved myself in dance hall, you know. Yeah. And me and Leng over Guyana with Tommy Lee because we had a Revelation song clash that mm -hmm. I also got booked for with Tommy Lee. Uh, where Tommy Lee called me out and, you know, we do a thing uh, and Leng just rate the energy, him rate my vibes, him, him, him just love me as a youth where mm -hmm. just real to the thing, you know. And me, me give me a hundred, so him give me back a hundred. So him say, make sure you're there here for Sting, him bring me. And Sting is your big Jamaica moment, eh? That is my big moment. This is my first time in Jamaica, you know. Oh, I've yeah? never been to Jamaica before. Oh, oh, Not wow. a day in my life. <laughs> yes, it's your first visit. So. And you're, you're, you're a debutant on the biggest dance hall platform in Jamaica. And I'm on one of the biggest stage. It might look small, but this is one of the biggest stage right here on stage. Okay. With the big man himself, Winford. Oh, wow. William. Well, sir. <laughs> We were too busy to even gloat in, in, in our reach. Appreciate your following and your, and your watching us. I love the thing. culture, you know, Guyana is the same thing. Guyana is no different from Jamaica. A lot of artists get booked and come to Guyana. Mm -hmm. I took Javilani to Guyana in 2015. Yes. You know, I, um, I do so much things, man, Winford, you know. Yes. It's, it's like, I just let the work speak for itself, you know. All right, so, so just pause for us a second mm -hmm. and let's go to one of your songs. Me no big friend, me no pretty people Hey Marcus, some of them not really know When me touch the street, me have a steal, you know Make you feel the vibe in the streets, you know Me a pretty couple care, couple house Yo, to them can't get me out Them a chat and them a run up them out mm. But we no big friend We no pretty likes Change like the weather, and I search for the cheddar. Life on a better road. We no big friend. How would them feel like? All right, so there you have it. No big friend is the title of that one. From Nigos, our very special guest in this segment. How new is this? It's not. It's not exactly new, you know. Yes. All right, I have stuff. This is like about a year and change. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hardcore dancehall fans will go to stay. Yeah. Those who love with a passion that particular genre of our music. No. Right. Are you not nervous to be going in front of the most critical dance hall gathering you will ever get? No, why? Why would I? Because, watch now. Like, I've been doing this for so long and I've dealt with so many artists. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's not like. I just have to just go do me, you understand me? Mm -hmm. I just have to just go sing. And the music them when I, I go with, it's positive. It's said, them will sell you out. Them make me tell you about, friend. Them yeah. only but yeah, so. And we no big friend. We don't pre people. Some of them don't really know. When we touch the street, me have me steal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, yeah. you're a man of much lyrics, Reggie. I'm but... doing the works, man. You know, I have a song with Tommy Lee called Spinners. Yes. So if you want to hear some badness and some things there, go on YouTube and click the link. Spin as it's called. We're, we're pressed for time, my brethren, unfortunately. So we're going to leave the rest uh, until ne when next you come. That is and it. that time we'll probably want you to come and perform for us. That is it, man. And for the, you know, it's a pleasure, you know, just being here, just greeting you outside and, mm -hmm. you know, the welcome. And, and, and it, it, for me, it's big, it's history. And, it's something we me have to take with me. You understand? And we want to wish you well on Sting. And we'll be there to see and, and to report on your performance. And we hope it goes well. Yeah? Yes, man. It has to okay. be, you know. Nothing but love and respect. Ah, bless you. Okay, Nigos, again, thank you. Bless Good you. to have you right here on our stage. And we look forward to when you return, sir. And the performance at Sting. Much thanks. All right, so there you have him in this segment of our show, Nigos from Guyana. Wow. <laughs>